Hey, and your friends <laughs> with rising gear scores and the decline of honor culture a la nerd souls dual circles players are realizing that being ganked is a fun this game believe it or not makes it insanely easy to fend off a gank however and if you're reactionary and observant enough you can sometimes pull off wiping an entire team by yourself which really makes for one of the most glorious moments you'll ever have in this game so, to help you get there, I'm going to provide 5 tips on how to counter a gank situation, which mainly revolve around the use of your revenge. Number 1. Okay, so this one's pretty obvious, and not everyone will be able to do this right away, but try to stack revenge gain by injury and by block on your gear. Trust me when I say, revenge is pretty overpowered in group modes right now, and you can use it to be the ultimate anti-gank tank. Just keep going for gear with these stats. Once you get rep 3 and purple gear, you'll be nearly unstoppable. It's seriously the new meta, especially if you're a warlord or conch, but any class can be pretty OP with it. <laughs> this, this piece of crap crap first got like insane gear or something. Like, what's going on? Number 2. Time your use of revenge. At the very start of its trigger, you throw up your arms, a blinding yellow light shines off of you, and within that window of time, anyone who threw an attack on you gets put on their back. Use this time to launch a heavy attack on whoever gets thrown on the ground. Revenge gives you an incredible boost in damage and infinite stamina, and if you're a warlord, conch, warden, or valkyrie, your charges will instantly floor your opponent. Number 3. Make sure to be on top of those guard breaks and parries. You can side parry your opponents and guard cancel them as well. If you spend your time only blocking them, then you'll eventually get guard broken and heavy to death. Number 4. Switch between targets to keep your enemies guessing. If you switch targets often, throwing out attacks they can't predict, they usually back off or they try to be more unpredictable themselves. Reading your opponents is just as important in gank situations as it is in 1v1 duels. Try to be strategic about it. If you see one of your gankers is just spamming, switch to him, parry him, and then take him out of the fight. If you notice you're near a hazard and someone is leaving themselves open, switch to them and throw them into it. You want to keep them on their toes, give them a reason to fear ganking you. This is done even easier on the mouse and keyboard since there is a dedicated button for switching targets. Number 5. Don't forget your feats and traps. Use them to trap them near a ledge and throw them off, or coordinate your feet with someone else's. Some feats for classes allow you to have stagger immunity, which can help you AoE an entire group with heavy or zone attacks. Some even give you guard break immunity or make all of your attacks unblockable. There's a few ways to use feats with each other and against each other, like the Mark of Death against Peacekeeper's stealth ability, but they aren't used very often from my experience. Another thing, once you reach rep 3 and you get some decent purples, try going for the feat CD reduction stat. Depending on your class feats, it can be really useful to have your cooldowns up every minute or so, but you may have to sacrifice another stat for it. Bonus tip, back into a buff and keep them off of it. If you're near a buff, try to throw them off of it so you can grab it yourself. A buff stacked with revenge makes you even more impossible to kill. So, this isn't included in the title, but I've noticed that a lot of players have trouble actually ganking properly too. It sounds stupid, but since For Honor provides some powerful anti-ganking tools and ganking is sometimes the only way to win, I'd like to quickly mention some tips on how to gank somebody with a teammate. Okay, so here's my first tip. Make sure your teammate's aware of what abilities they should use in a gank situation and which they shouldn't. Some abilities with a wide arc can interrupt your attacks. Some can even trip you up or throw you off into a hazard. Attacks that focus damage directly in front of you are optimal in a gank situation. My second tip, since revenge gain can escalate at a pretty rapid rate, have your teammates exercise a little bit of patience and maybe instead of attacking, throw feints on the side to confuse them. You might even want to send your teammate off so they can be more useful somewhere else. It's also best that your teammate waits for the perfect moment to attack. Example, when your opponent is locked in an animation they can't possibly get out of. 
And here's a third thing worth mentioning. When you've noticed your opponent is stretching around and is just not dying like he's supposed to, use any CC you have on your class, whether it be a stun trap or a well-timed guard break. If you're a Lawbringer or a Shigoki, even better. During a Shigoki's hug, you can still attack the guy he's hugging. Same goes for the Lawbringer's pancake flipping ability and his charge. Okay, so another bonus tip. You're trying to face a 108 with revenge stats alone and some bot pops out of nowhere and starts attacking, almost triggering their revenge. You can actually send them away. Just use the I got this quick chat feature which will actually make the bot stand to the side and wait for you to be done. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope something in this guide tips how to video type thing helps you in some way. If not, maybe some of you can be gracious enough to provide some tips in the comments. Thanks for watching and make sure to have fun today. Fun is what you make of it. And remember friends, another tip from me to you. Also make sure to subscribe. Every little bit helps for a back of the woods channel like this one. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'll be trying to release more regularly, maybe twice a week. I'll be putting out some gameplay videos, maybe a guide or two, probably a few more tip videos and some random thoughts on aspects of this game. Oh yeah, and one more thing I should probably beg for, please click on the thumb thing. I'm sure it'll help somehow. Anyway, thanks for watching.